Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey from World's Zombination Nation, and today we're going to switch things up a little bit. Last episode, the first episode, we did the survivor tutorial and whatnot, but today I want to do the infected. I've been really wanting, I've been, I've had that itch to play as the infected. It's been like what I wanted to do, like all day I've been wanting, I want to play as the infected. That's been what I've been wanting to do. So let's get into it. The Seattle tutorial, let's autofill. We got some brutes, some spitters. Super fun stuff. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. All right. So we we can spawn drones on that pad. I want to get through that wall and take out those firefighters and take out the hospital. So I guess we can just drop all these drones and drop all our brutes because we can drop them inside that horde and we're pretty much just going to wreck these guys like... This seems like an overwhelming amount of people that are just going to say goodbye. Let's put those spitters in the back because they can just pretty much snipe people. That firefighter has absolutely no chance at all. He won't be able to take the menace of these, this horde, the Joey horde. The unstoppable Joey horde with all those big fat brutes just wrecking everybody. Zombies are so much fun. I don't know what it is. I guess just controlling a horde is just so much more fun. I think that's what it is. I mean, like, look at this. We're, like, eating people. We're, like, wrecking them. Like, this is so much fun. Guys, I think we're going to be a main zombie channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, down they go. Guys, I'm feeling zombies. Zombies are, like, my favorite. But we're going to do both. It's okay. We're having both. Runners. We're doing both. I guarantee it, but today I want to focus on, like, those, the Horde is so much fun. Like, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Like, do you like the Horde or do you like the Survivors? Let me know. So we can spawn at two locations this time. All right, I know exactly how to, to take out these gunners. I'm going to set down about 20, okay, most more than 25, but here's what I'm going to do. Gunfighters, as I, could, as I learned, are not as good against the brutes so I'm just gonna let the brutes just eat them alive and on this side we're gonna swarm with some more brutes get some spitters in the back there there runners go just go get them the runners are the speedy high damage guys they can just run speed away look at this they can cause some serious damage but they have very little health so that's kinda one of the downfalls but hey it's okay so it looks like we're just about to take out the hospital. Looks like we got it. We got those runners in the foreground doing their thing to the hospital. Let's take a look at the enemies. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Gunfighter, handy with the pistol. Even better with two. Interesting. Firefighter, high da high health, you know, whatnot. Runners, very high damage. Melee attack and run speed. Set them loose on unprotected humans. Low health tends to run off on his own. Yeah, he's just alone. He's just like one of those lone ranger guys. Exit cleared. Let's see what else we got. Infector. Interesting. I'm intrigued. Let's add him to our squad. Let's accept it. Laying out streets, placing bad guys, balancing the difficulty. All right, so now there's a new little bit of a new idea. We have the medics are added to the survivor squad. Interesting. All right, so we have the two um, pads to launch people. So I'm going to sit down a good amount of drones here, followed by our large brutes to help out, and I'm going to put two spitters in the back just to like do their thing, take out those guys right there, and then I'm going to have an infector just coming up the back. All right, while those guys are working, looks like we got them. All right, let's just send the rest on out. Sorry, I'm trying to set down one of those guys. All right, so I'm going to put down my brutes, put down some runners, let them do their thing, and then put some spitters in the back so they can just snipe, snipe away. All right, so the Infector, or the re the Redeemer guy, he'll pretty much bring him back to life. He'll bring back to life those players that cease to exist. I want to set him in there. 
All right, so I'm just gonna set down some more drones in the back, you know, for fun. So as you can see, he's just infecting more guys. All right, can I set them down? No. We're bringing up the people. So as you can see, they're bringing more guys to life. Let's increase the horde. Oh, I love this so much. Look at this. We have a giant zombie horde. There's the paramedic, the infector. They bring people to life. Got it. This is so much fun, being the horde. Three stars, cleared. Got some more things. Delivery men, those guys explode, and they're really annoying, but they're going to be good because now I'm the horde. And spitters. Leveled up. Welcome to level two, baby. Oh, this is so much fun. San Fran. Okay, guys, we're going to have to come. I think we're going to have to come back and do that later. Let's see how much, Let's see where we're at sitting at time. Five minutes. You know what, guys? I'm going to have San Francisco up early tomorrow morning. I'm going to do another episode with the infected because I'm having a lot of fun with it. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial for the infected side of the game. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.